on your My Pipes page, clicking the Create a New Pipe link will take you to this screen. Let's create a very simple pipe that will just retrieve a blog's feed. On the left side of the screen, under the Sources menu, you'll see the Fetch menu item. These submenu items are called modules. The Fetch module retrieves one or more feeds. Click and drag the Fetch menu item into the crosshatched area of the screen. The upper left hand corner is best. When you did this, it also created another item called Pipe Output, which as you've guessed represents the output of the pipe. But first thing we need is input. So in the input area of the fetch box, replace URL with the URL you see on the screen. When you do that, a feed icon should appear after a bit. If you get an error message instead, check that the feed URL is OK or try it again. If worse comes to worse, just start the whole thing over. Now what we need to do is send our input to the output. See the circle at the bottom of the fetch box? That represents the output of the fetch module. Likewise, the circle at the top of the pipe output box represents where the output of this pipe gets its input. We need to connect those two. So click the circle at the bottom of the fetch box and drag that connector down the screen. You'll notice that the circle at the top of the pipe output box lit up when you did that. Drag the connector down the screen until it reaches that circle, at which point they should be connected. You've just piped the input to the output. Now in the upper left corner of the screen, you'll see a tab with Untitled. Click the Untitled tab and give this pipe a name, such as AAR. Then click the Save button next to that tab. Then click the Back to My Pipes link at the top, and in the resulting list, select the pipe you just created. Then click the Run This Pipe link in that screen. That should show you the feed from Bore America or whatever other site you used. Note that at the bottom there's a Get as RSS link. In this case, we aren't really doing anything, but with more complicated pipes, this is one of the ways to get the output into your feed reader or whatever you want to do with the pipe. Now, let's create a more complicated example. Let's say we want to create a feed that only contains items mentioning Al Franken. As before, create a new pipe, then drag a fetch item onto the screen and insert the URL of the feed. But this time, also drag out a filter item from the operators menu on the left. Change the pop-up to read Permit instead of Block, and put Franken in the text area. Then, like you did before, connect the output of the Fetch item to the input of the filter item. Shortly after you do that, the items in the left pop-up in the filter item will change to match the items in the input. In this case, they've got link, title, and description. Choose description. If you use a different type of feed or a different input source, the items in the pop-up will change to match it. Then, connect the output of the filter item to the input of the pipe output item. And as you did before, give this pipe a name, say AAR2, and save it, and then click on the Back to My Pipes link. Then, when you run the pipe, you should see the output filter to show only those items which mention the word Franken. There are plenty of other modules available, so I'd suggest just trying things and seeing what you can come up with.